Hello my lovely angels, how are you guys doing? So it, uh, when I'm uploading this video, it's Chaitra Navratri and I thought let me make a video for all of you regarding message from Goddess Durga for you. So we have three options over here. Option number one is this beautiful strength card from the Arcanum deck. Option number two is this lovely strength card from the Light Seer's Tarot. And option number three is this gorgeous strength card from the Thelma deck. So you can choose any option that you are drawn to in case if you are confused. I have also selected piles based on your date of birth. So for pile 1, all those whose date of birth is from 21 to 31, this pile is applicable to you if your date of birth is any one of these. Alright, I'll keep it over here. Okay, I'll keep it over here. If your date of birth is between is from 1 to 10 that is any of these date of birth then pile number 2 is your option if your date of birth is from 11 to 20 any of these dates then your option is pile number three so you can choose either by the deck that you are drawn towards or by your date of birth also uh, you can take three pieces of paper write pile one pile two and pile three that is one pile number in each piece of paper like this and just say goddess durga what message you have for me close your eyes pick up any one piece of paper whatever number comes that's going to be a pile so this is my favorite method of finding out which pile is applicable to me so you can choose any of these uh, methods or maybe all whatever uh, whatever is calling to you all right so let's get started with goddess durga message for you hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see what message goddess durga has for you so you have chosen this pile based on this beautiful image of this tarot deck or you have chosen this particular pile because of your date of birth. So uh, either which way that's alright or if you have chosen it because uh, you just picked up this pile that's completely alright too. Now let's get started with regards to your message from Goddess Durga. So when I'm looking at this tarot deck I feel that you are somebody who is very perceptive. You process information and then you come to conclusion you would just not go ahead with an impulse earlier you used to like when you were really young but now you have learned that you know what let me understand things let me process it and then only will i kind of go ahead all right so i'll keep your beautiful tarot deck over here and now let's see what messages Goddess Durga has for you. We'll also see blessings from her. The first thing that I am seeing is a beautiful lotus. So I feel that you're also connected to Goddess Lakshmi. Like you have this beautiful bond with her is what I am hearing. Now let's see your messages one by one. Okay, it feels like you have been trying your best to kind of straighten things up. Things have not been quite smooth lately and that's ha that has been really a point of worry for you. So you have got two of pentacles. Here uh, Goddess Durga is telling you that you have been really trying to manage everything on your own you have been so busy uh, you've been really working hard all right and you've been really putting in a lot of efforts it's not something that uh, things just come easy to you and you're really 
doing your best to manage work and personal life and she really appreciates you for that she also wants to tell you that though this entire efforts that you are put you are putting in right now and you're kind of wondering will this kind of give me results in the future yes for sure it will do not worry okay the next oh wow look at that the eight of pentacles so you have been working hard clearly with the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles i am just not surprised you have been really working hard with regards to career finances if you're a homemaker you have been really working hard with regards to being there for everybody all right so clearly you have been putting in efforts you have been very busy and you've been trying to give your best to everyone and goddess durga is telling you good uh, do not worry all the efforts that you have put in you will definitely get the rewards for the same the recognition for the same all right the next message from goddess durga is that you need to be confident you need to believe in yourself you have you are kind of uh, doubting yourself you're wondering whether you're good enough or not well you're not only good enough you're really great okay you're awesome you need to work on your confidence level you need to own your power you're kind of giving your power away to situation and circumstances whatever circumstances you're facing right now they are temporary they're not going to be permanent then that's not your story all right you're someone who completely has created a path for yourself based on your own efforts and hard work so it's time that you realize that you're not one of those people who are victim of the circumstances you're the one who creates the circumstances and you win them all right you have written your own story so stop being so underconfident i also feel with all these cards that um definitely what is your focus right now is finances and career and there is going to be a glow up happening in your life all right you are really going to shine brighter you're going to be really out there all right now let's see what your other cards are going to tell us so i have already removed few oracle cards we'll see it one by one in case you want to know what tarot and oracle cards i am using you can see the time stamp below so let me just push this cards up okay let's see your first oracle card okay you have got shiv puran the holy book all right so you need to kind of really read books that are holy in nature also it's it will be a good idea to focus on self development to work on your mindset currently your mindset is not that great because of which you are feeling underconfident however if you work on your mindset you can really do better i also feel that everything is going to be all right okay you don't have to worry you just need to upgrade yourself in terms of your knowledge and your beliefs about yourself uh, this is what you know um is important right now i do teach uh bmrt tool that is belief magic reboot tool in my i am oracle workshop in case if you want to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences you can click on the link below all right you have got goddess matangi now i want to read about her from the book to you because when i read about her uh, what was written in the book it was simply amazing let me read it out okay this is this beautiful deck all right and when i read about it i was like wow this this card kind of summarizes what this three tarot cards were telling to you okay so there is three four all right now look over here yeah she is a tantric queen of outcast unveiling hidden inner power to thrive outside conventional society she holds the secret teachings of the power of the voice of the healing power of art and music she is a divine feminine medicine for the lost the alienated those who have been cast aside if you have been denied denied love and respect 
look over here denied love and respect she brings healing and empowerment this the queen of wands was saying the same thing if you have suffered rejection abandonment or been labeled as unworthy in any way she brings dignity and repair she is the ignition of creative joyful and vibrant life path so this is what your tarot cards were also telling us and look how this one card has summarized the entire thing let's your next card kindred partnership i feel that you know uh, now there are two things that i can clearly see from this card in personal life you have not been getting the support that you have been truly desiring for uh, desiring for like if you are single you're not been getting the desired partner if you are married maybe your partner is not supporting you enough or maybe there is some sort of lack or if you are into some sort of a uh, corporate career or business you're not been able to find the right support okay professional support so uh, this particular card is a, is a reassurance from goddess durga that you will get the support that you need that rock solid support from your partner if you are into corporate career or business uh, a proper professional support you are going to receive in order to go ahead and with this two cards which is two of pentacles and eight of pentacles i can clearly understand that there is this need for stability okay this kind of support which you are going to get do not worry the next card that you got is courage again same thing which uh, matangi goddess matangi said and the queen of wands said that you really need to tap into your inner courage be strong be brave yes the current situation is really bad you kind of feel you know that is this the end uh, however there is some spark of hope right now which you have in your heart however that spark of hope is not that strong enough yet so this particular card is telling you that be hopeful things are going to be really great even the right now you feel that maybe situation is not going to be good and your confidence and courage has gotten affected the next card that you have got a second chakra archangel ariel the second chakra again talks about power group 1 i think that if you own your power you're going to go ahead it's as simple as that that's what i can see from your uh, uh, from the message that god is durga has for you second chakra archangel ariel so if you believe in yourself you're going to be confident about yourself your finances are going to shoot up that's for sure however you need to believe in yourself you need to kind of take back your power you can kind of see i feel that there has been a situation since last 6 uh, months or a year which has kind of made you believe that maybe uh, things are going to be different you're not going to be as abundant as you have, you were before uh, so stop having this doubts all right it was a temporary phase which was meant to teach you certain things you have learned now move on towards abundance okay so i feel that clearly your financial issues or whatever problems you are facing with regards to finances that that is going to get sorted out do not worry at all that's your next card what you need to surrender surrender your ego so i feel that uh, there was some sort of support that you were getting and you kind of uh, stay uh, kind of this support or this partnership broke and right now you are holding on to your ego and not kind of uh, reconcil uh, reconciling with this particular partnership and now when i say partnership i do not mean excess okay please keep the excess away they are past and not meant to be repeated i am talking about uh, a partnership which is not yet broken but at but it's not yet it it was either broken and now you want to uh, work on it or maybe it's kind of um uh it's kind of on a pause right now okay so surrender your ego and be flexible communicate with this other person or this uh, whoever this is so that you know you can again rebuild the story of abundance that you once had all right so that's important surrender to rest and sleep so when i was removing your oracle cards 
this card just fell on your pile so you have been really working hard and i can clearly see with the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles it's not surprising you really work hard however now time to take some rest and sleep and respite as well because what's the point of working so hard if you're not going to enjoy rest and sleep all right so don't worry uh, yes you have faced a really hard and difficult time but but understand that that difficult part is now over you can now just chill all right you don't have to be like so um over the top now let's your next card you got practice so yes you need to polish your skills you are already talented you need to upgrade your knowledge because once you upgrade your knowledge you can really do wonders but it's also important that you keep on reinventing yourself all right you keep on doing the work that you are so good at okay now let's see this two cards of yours wow look at look at these cards okay you've got great fortune and unexpected income so there will be some un, uh, some unexpected windfall coming your way and this unexpected windfall will also bring in great fortune and this fortune is going to really make you feel so blessed and light and you will be able to finally rest and sleep is what i feel i also feel that you are connected to goddess fortuna and goddess lakshmi you have been praying to her and uh, you're also connecting with goddess durga and all of that prayers and that rituals and that affirmations that you have been doing is definitely going to help you all right let's see what the tea leaf cards are going to tell us with regards to message from goddess durga we will also see that these are mainly blessings okay i also remove your blessings card okay let's see oh oh my god so many so many blessings all right let's take all of them you know what i will take all of them because i feel that if goddess durga wants to tell you so many messages we are going to go for it okay let's move things okay the first blessing is great personal sorrow now so great personal sorrow is not a blessing this means that you have been through a great personal sorrow maybe you lost a loved one or maybe a dream of yours is not happening or you have been experiencing this downfall which you spoke about before as well so this card is reassuring you this great personal sorrow is going to get over i think it, for some it could be regarding finances as well or career beware of greed now here you got surrender your ego so understand one thing being egoistic or being greedy is not going to le lead you to anywhere so check your keep your greed in control you got reconciliation so i did talk about the kindred partnership right that there is somebody with whom either the partnership is on pause or uh, maybe you were working with them before but you kind of broke up for because of professional differences and now you are either starting to work with them or you are reconciling so at times you know uh, this reconciliation can open doors to abundance and great fortune so keep your ego aside keep your greed aside and work again together you got over your target a goal oriented person so now you are going to be really focusing on your targets and your goals and you got to go ahead the next card that you have got is family wishes come true so if you have been having any wish regarding your family or right maybe addition in the family uh, so that's going to happen via birth of a child or via marriage so that's going to happen okay the next card that you got disappointment in a friend or a lover so in the past you have been really disappointed by friends or your exes all right so this disappointment has led to lot of personal sorrow so now you need to re uh, consider your choices and your self worth and choose people who are worthy of you and who are not just there you know the next blessing you have got is someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want so this wedge which was there which kind of led to this breaking up of partnership that's going to get resolved and you're going to reconcile with this particular friend of yours does um, kind of helping you to grow ahead 
and emotionally secure loving family is important to you so this is what you're going to get as a blessing from goddess durga a lot of security so family uh, if you're worried about your family that hey how how the finances are going to be because you want your family to be happy to be at peace that's going to be happen this unexpected windfall and great fortune is going to help your family you have got cop web protected from negative forces beyond your control so if you have been really worried about that hey am i safe is someone saying sending me negativity so understand one thing very clearly that goddess durga is protecting you from all kinds of negative forces of course you need to keep yourself safe as well and you know, i i also feel that keep your ego aside because this uh, reconciliation with this person is again going to open doors of abundance for you however once the door of abundance opens for you don't be greedy and don't be like oh i want more out of them or this association all right now uh, i have chosen a, a rune for you so you have got the rune oops you got the rune wunhu all right can you see focus 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 okay i think it's the camera is not focusing on this you got the rune wun ho which means that there is going to be joy prosperity abundance coming your way and all your cards were saying the same thing and your rune is also saying the same thing even though it was chosen before and now let's see a last blessing from goddess durga for you will also see the timelines of this blessing okay blessing of peace after battle so clearly group 1 you had a fall out with someone and this fall out kind of led to it affected your work your abundance as well and do not worry there's going to be peace after all the battle that you have fought uh, which has kind of really made you feel exhausted all right this battle could be with uh, with the time or with an individual but don't worry Now let's see when will you receive all this blessing from Goddess Durga. All right. Okay, so you got two over here. It could mean uh, two hours, two days, two weeks, two years. So maximum is two years, minimum is two hours. All right. So group one. Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question, group one, and let me spin the wheel for you. Okay, so it went to miracle and it came to wait. All right, uh, the reason I feel it came to wait for a miracle is that you really need to own your power and you need to keep be more courageous and surrender your ego. Once you do that, I think whatever it is that you desire will turn to miracle. All right, Group One, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided, and if you want to. Uh, make the most out of this chaitra navratri in my book prayer magic and miracles there is a prayer to uh, with uh, to pray to goddess durga's nine forms you can read that as well and the link to my book is given in the pin comment the kindle link to my book and also the amazon link to my book you can either have a hard copy or a soft uh, or a kindle copy all right and yes uh, if um if you want to follow me on instagram the instagram link is given as well all right group one take care of yourself lots of love to you happy navratri chaitra navratri and uh, i did share a ritual for chaitra navratri on my instagram handle and on my broadcast channel as well so if you do not want to miss any of this you can be part of my instagram broadcast channel or my whatsapp broadcast channel i will leave uh, the link to both in the pin comment all right take care of yourself do share this video with your friends and family so that they can also know the blessings that goddess durga will give them all right take care of yourself lots of love to you bye bye hello group 2 how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always 
today we are going to see what message goddess durga has for you so if you have chosen this beautiful image because you were drawn towards it or you have chosen this pile because your date of birth is from 1 to 10 any of these numbers then let's check your pile all right it doesn't matter uh, what made you choose this pile but yes what really matters is that goddess durga has a special message for you so when I look at this card, I can see that you have kind of had this journey wherein you were not so confident, not so successful. And from there, you have kind of transformed your complete journey towards success, towards happiness, towards joy, towards courage. All right. Now let me keep a beautiful card over here and let's see message from Goddess Durga for you. I can see like an evil eye symbol so for me it means that you are protected and safe or maybe you are wearing an evil eye or something I also feel that there was something you wanted to get made in terms of a jewelry or something however it is kind of kept on hold because of some reason now let's see your messages one by one from goddess durga wow you have got the ace of pentacles so goddess durga is assuring you that there will be growth there will be abundance you are right now at a um, start of a new beginning okay you're just before that new beginning embarks so you're full of um, questions you're full of hope you're full of doubts you're full of um, worry as well that what if this does not work out so Goddess Durga is telling you that yes things are going to work in your favor this new beginning will bring in a lot of abundance in your life or of happiness in your life as well the next message Goddess Durga has for you is wow this is so amazing six of pentacles so there is going to be this now look at this card let me first show you this card okay here the divine is handing you a pentacle okay and over here there is downpour of pentacles which means that one would be multiplied to six all right now clearly you're worried about your finances if you're confused between group one and group two do check group one as well so a goddess Durga is going to bless you with abundance okay goddess Durga is going to give you the help that you really need in terms of your finances your career your finances are going to get sorted out do not worry the inflow that you are worried about you know I feel that there was a decline in the financial inflow like compared to what was before however do not worry the inflow is again going to get multiplied okay so one is going to become six that's like I am so excited for you that I'm not able to find words because this is so beautiful one is going to get multiplied to six to so six times growth you're going to experience all right and if you were not getting the kind of uh, abundance that you were praying for that's going to happen as well wow the four of pentacles so all pentacle cards if again i'm saying if you're confused between group one and group two do check group one as well so you have got over your four of pentacles card which means that because of uh, the lack of financial inflow you were feeling very insecure you were kind of wondering that hey you know uh will i be able to fulfill my dreams because this the inflow has declined so the savings are not as much as they were before so this card is assuring you that do not worry you will be able to save and uh, there will be security that you really are hoping and praying for in terms of finances so if you go to see all the three cards are telling you this beautiful things new beginnings in terms of finances this card is talking about this financial support coming your way, this financial abundance coming your way. And this is talking about savings. So I feel savings, uh, new beginnings in terms of finances. And I also feel this could be investments, okay, investments multiplying as well. 
the message is very loud and clear from goddess durga that your finances is your finances are going to improve there is no need to worry on that aspects okay and you are going to have the security that you have been hoping for now let's see your other oracle cards i have already removed them first is the card bowling now in case you want to know what decks i'm using you can check the timestamp below you got bowling nath over here and uh, lord krish uh, lord um, shiva is blessing lord krishna so over here it means bolinath means innocent lord shiva is a god who can be pleased easily and grants you with boons and miracles so i feel that you believe in lord krishna as well and uh, I feel that there are going to be a lot of miracles happening in your life. You have prayed to Lord Shiva. You have offered water to him, and you've done some Abhishek related to Lord Shiva as well, and that's going to also bless you with lot of boons. Okay, got a Kali message that you have got is Kali. kalmasa nasini so this means that whatever darkness is there in your life she is going to hunt it down and replace it with brightness see the video also became bright over here so you know i would like to read this uh, beautiful card message from this book because it can, it will it will do justice to what you know uh, this card is trying to tell you Because I was so amazed when I read this. Okay, she devours darkness with her endless hunger for light, peace, and redemption. She reaches the deepest places, the darkest, darkest spaces, relent, relentless in her pursuit of the lost and despairing. No soul, no soul shall ever be forgotten, abandoned, or betrayed by her. Those that believe in their own guilt, their sin, their shame, evoke her mighty tenderness, and she feasts upon the darkness that threatens to consume them, elevating the weight of their suffering, allowing their hearts to become light and free. Isn't that beautiful? So that's what God. this kali is going to do for you remove all the darkness and all this light is going to come into your life you got over your friends and colleagues so you are going to receive support from both friends and colleagues thus they are going to make you feel supported and they're going to help you grow as well there could be an opportunity coming via friend or a colleague and that opportunity is going to open doors for you let me just shift this cards a little bit up Okay, let's see your next card. You have got nurture. So over here, you need to nurture your inner child. I also feel with this nurture card that some of you are nurturing a dream which is at a very nascent uh, stage right now. It is going to grow. Do not worry. All right, let me just take this oracle cards. The seed. I feel that with this card, somebody has deceived you, and you have been so hurt because of it. And this deceit has kind of affected your finances. However, as you saw the card, Kali Kamala Kalmasa Nasini. So, Doggedus Kali is going to ensure that this deceit does not affect you anymore. Also, you need to be very um, honest in your dealings as well. you need to surrender worry because you have been so worried about your finances your career that you're not been able to have that peace okay so surrender worry so that you can experience the abundance that is meant to come your way you got nutrition pay attention to what you eat uh and drink if you are from the field of a diet nutrition things are going to shine bright for you i also feel that this card is clearly talking to you about uh having a healthy lifestyle and focusing on what you are eating right now you have got community over here and child over here i can see two scenarios I feel that you have been doing a lot of charity with regards to community, and that's going to bring blessings to your a uh, child, or if you're planning for a child, that's going to. I feel that um, for some, okay, now there are different meanings to this card. One meaning clearly is there's a blessing of child coming your way. And again, I tell you, watch group one, okay. 
also I feel that the community, whatever done towards the community, that blessing is going to come to you in the form of um, uh, abundance, okay, and also love, all right. People look up to you as how a child looks up to somebody who has got knowledge, who has got a lot of wisdom, all right. I see a lot of love coming to you, a lot of pure love coming from a community. So if you're an influencer, expect to have a lot of good following as well let me keep your card over here clearly i can see with the nurture and the child card a, a baby coming for the ones who are praying for it all right also uh, if it is not a child it is new projects new business new opportunities as well now let's see the blessings coming your way from goddess durga I feel that you know somewhere you need to work on your self-worth as well because you just feel you know maybe I'm not worthy of things or uh, maybe I really need to work hard to get what I really desire okay this just fell I'll keep it over here okay, let's see all your cards one by one You have got someone is leaving your life. So this particular person, uh, you know, kind of affected uh, your uh, career and finances. Okay, this deceit, this person. I feel this person is the one who deceived you. This person is going to leave your life and that's a blessing from Goddess Durga to you. Also, dealings or relationship with an older man is, there's this old man with whom you're going to deal with and that person is going to bring in a lot of opportunities and abundance. You got over your dolphin financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past, right? So this, I spoke about financial gain over here with the ace of pentacles, six of pentacles and the four of pentacles and this card is reconfirming. So whatever work you have done in the past, that's going to bring in more financial gains. Your God, a distant friend is thinking of you. So there is some opportunity which you have not walked yet or maybe you're at the threshold of it. And this person is thinking about you that maybe you're the right person to be given this opportunity to. And uh, soon this, this door is going to open up and you're going to walk through it and you're going to smile and have this community of people waiting to... Um, cheer for you you got over your deep personal strength and peace that assures success so yes you have been there wondering where am i going what what did i do why are things not working out the entire drama trauma you're being through and after that you're going to get that peace and that assured success that you have been hoping and praying for you got over your quill which means get back to basics so you know initially you started something and that really helped you and then you moved away from it to kind of explore and expand now you need to go back to the basics and redo what you did before because that was working for you all right isn't that beautiful group too now let's see uh from the other deck what blessings goddess durga is going to give you A blessing on your wisdom so a lot of wisdom coming your way that is going to help you to grow more and more a blessing on the children see uh, you now that that's very clear if you already have children they are definitely going to uh, shine brighter I also feel that the ones you got a child card over here and you got a nurture card over here. So if you have been planning to have children, you have been praying for uh, having more children or maybe to have an addition in the family, that's happening as well. I also feel for some, if your inner child uh, was really hurt, that's going to heal as well. I also kind of feel that a lot of creative projects coming your way. Okay, if you're like little baby is something we are not really planning for, then definitely a lot of new beginnings, new creative projects are coming your way. Now, let's see by when you're going to receive all these blessings. Okay, before that, you had 
I had chosen a room for you. You had got the room Lagus, which means there's going to be this free flow, okay, this fluidity. And you can see the flow, right? Flow from the divine. And this fluidity is going to really bless you with security, with this happiness, with this joy, and going to make you feel so blessed and lucky. Now, where is... Okay, I need to find out by when you're going to get all these blessings and the dice is, okay, here the dice is. All right, so somewhere I feel that you have been really waiting for this and looking for this happiness and blessings from Goddess Durga. So Goddess Durga, thank you so much for all these blessings for Pile 2. So when are you going to bless them with all these blessings? You got the number five which means five hours, five days, five months, five weeks, five years. So the minimum time frame is five hours and the maximum time frame is five years. Somewhere between five hours to five years, you are going to get this blessing. All right, now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question group two and let me spin the wheel for you. Wow, you got miracle. That's beautiful group two. Uh, whatever you ask, the answer is miracle. So in case you want to know more details about the I Miracle workshop, the link is below. And if you want to make most of this Chaitra Navratri and do a special prayer to Goddess Durga, if you already bought my book, Prayer, Magic and Miracles, uh, which is available on Amazon, it's also available on Kindle. All the links are in the pinned comment. In that, there is a prayer. Let me, there's a prayer on page. That's my book. Okay, these are all the prayers in it. And there is a prayer to the nine forms of Goddess Durga on page 47. If you already have my book, you can read that prayer for the nine days of uh, Chaitra Navratri. And this book is available on Amazon, on um, Kindle as well. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided. And yes, uh, I will see you soon again with a new reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my lovely angels. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. This is Shri Sapin Matri. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to see what message Goddess Durga has for you. So you have chosen this pile based on this beautiful picture or based on your date of birth or because this pile just was calling to you. So no matter what it is, let's figure out what message Goddess Durga has for you. So when I look at this card, I feel that you have this aura, okay, a dazzling aura. Wherever you go, people just notice you and they are drawn towards you. And you kind of wonder that, uh, okay, what is it, you know, why are, why are people kind of uh, coming to me and telling me about their problems and uh, wanting help from me? Or what, what is it about me that people are just drawn to me, they just want to talk to me, all right? So you have this uh, charismatic personality. Okay, now let's see what your tarot cards are going to tell us. I also feel that you have kind of lost something okay and kind of wondering what's going to happen yeah let's check message from goddess Durga message number one message number two message number three I feel that you really want some peace and quiet is what I'm getting. That's your card first. You have got the King of Swords. This card is telling you that Goddess Durga wants you to be practical. Think about yourself, put yourself as a priority. You need to kind of complete all the, fin all the pending paperwork that has been lying around. 
finish all the paperwork, finish all the formalities so that you can move ahead. Also, there will be a man who is extremely smart who is going to help you out. All right. Also, God is Durga is telling you, take care of the words that is coming from you. Be gentle with yourself and others. Wow, you have got the six of swords. So here God is Durga is telling you that yes, you have been through a lot in life. And recently things have not been that great. However, do not worry. You are moving towards great times. Right now you are in between and wondering whether you're going to go ahead or you're going to go back. Don't worry, you're going to move ahead. Interesting, you got two sword cards, group three. So clearly the message for you is to be practical and to let go of what is not serving you and also be gentle with yourself and others. All right. Wow, you have got the Empress card. Here God is Durga is telling you that you are going to receive the abundance that you have been praying for. You are going to grow ahead. You're going to have all the luxury that you need. You're going to also be very caring and nurturing towards yourself and others. If you have been facing mother issues, uh, problems with your mother or mother-in-law or a mother figure, be practical do what you need to do in terms of your responsibility however don't be too much emotionally attached to the drama trauma let go of toxicity all right i also feel that for some who have been struggling to be a mother uh, things are going to get better okay just be practical with your decision making around it now let's see what your other oracle cards are going to tell us i have already removed your cards you have got samundra samudra mantana all right if you want to know what decks i have used i put it on the timestamp below just click on it you have got samudra mantana the big event teamwork and efforts teamworks will give you better results listen to others opinions social gathering and big events jack of all master of nothing so here I feel that uh, with this card, I feel definitely uh, right now you are in the process of churning. Okay, things are just, you don't know what to expect. Okay, like you are in the six of swords position right now, wherein you are in between. Okay, you're neither, how Samudra Mantana was, right? It was right in the process. It was neither start of the process or end of the process. However, at the end of the process, they got Goddess Lakshman. Similarly, at the end of this journey, you are going to get beautiful abundance, okay? So don't worry, things are definitely going to get better for you. The next card that you have got is Kundalini Shakti. All right. So I feel that with this card, you're definitely, you know, with your vibration is really going ahead. You're really growing. All right. Now I'm going to read this card from the book because it's so beautifully uh, written. All right. So let me just. Where is it? All right. Hers is the arising consciousness that evokes instability within, clearing the inner pathways for higher consciousness to manifest. Inner disturbance and instability wrought by Kundalini Shakti in an op is an obscuring grace. Internal disorder is necessary step towards divine reorganization. Be assure your heart that no matter what may appear to be at a spiritual level, all is well. Outworn energy is being processed and broken apart. From the ashes of your inner fire, you shall emerge anew. Let what needs to happen, happen. So that's what, you know, your cards were telling as well. Okay, so yeah, you you have been like, you know, Samudra Mantan also said the same thing, right? So there is a lot of churning happening, which your card also said, oh my God, I just love this when it happens. So yes, there is a lot of churning happening in your life to get rid of the old energy, to bring in the new. So it's like a phoenix moment for you, all right? So all that pain and problem that you've been, been going through, it's going to go away to rise the new you. The next card that you have got is family. And with the Empress card, if you have been looking for, uh, you know, getting married, this is a great card. If you have been praying for a child, this is a great card. If you've been praying for a, a child's well-being or your family well-being, this is 
a great message from goddess durga that all that you uh, have been praying for family will be received by you do not worry at all you have got a sustainer so definitely you are going to grow and grow and grow do not worry whatever you need will come to you you'll have everything that you are uh, have been praying for you're going to really enjoy all the fruits of your hard work that you have been putting in the past you have been putting in the present do not worry at all don't think even for a single second that whatever efforts you have put in will go waste you got the thinking woman so here uh, there is going to be now you know, look over here king of swords is a thinking man and this is a thinking woman so clearly your work is around communication here the cards are telling you that there is going to be a man and a woman now this could be you as well you are definitely going to get the help this this the brains of this two are going to help you to go ahead okay also a lot of ideas are going to come to you that's going to really push you ahead the next card that you have got is music so uh you know you have, i feel that you've been listening to chants listening to subliminals and listening to meditation and this meditation is definitely helping you out um uh, so many of my i miracle workshop participants tell me that you know when they listen to those powerful seven meditations they feel so uplifted so um the link for the workshop is at in the pinned comment you have been listening to music and that's definitely helping you out let's see what you need to surrender surrender to the magic who you are which again talks about the phoenix thing okay so you are going to you know really become this a uh, being of uh inspiration people are going to be like oh wow what magic he or she has that everything is like you know turns into gold what madas touch they have i feel that you had kind of lost this touch in between and you were like you know what is happening why am i not able to create the magic that i could create before so do not worry you are going to create that magic it's just you know all this chaos happened for you to find the pathway that you were looking for but you were not sure to embark on you got over your expectation and coffin so yes god is doing guys telling you that in the past your expectations have been really uh, gone into a coffin that is it just you had to kind of let go of it don't worry things are going to look better and things that you have been praying for and were not met or not answered will be answered soon okay let's see what blessings goddess durga is going to give you this kind of card i'm going to pick all of them these are the blessings from goddess durga for you okay here and this as well let's see all the blessings from goddess durga for you you got quite a lot this was kind of taking my attention money will be coming to you and with the empress card i'm not surprised in, in interestingly today all the piles got money okay that's very interesting so definitely money is going to come to you is the economy improving because everybody is getting money oh you got love as well so empress card represents both love and abundance and see you got both you know that's what i love this cards are removed right in front of you both of them and still they are sinking in so that's a confirmation you got a younger woman dealing a relationship with a younger woman now this is what i would say the thinking woman so this woman is definitely going to help you grow period of prosperity and abundance my god this is a, this is another confirmation wow i'm loving the synchronicities today you got over here new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so see this person that's what six of a uh, sword represents going from darkness to light and that's what the arc way okay opportunities possibilities and pathways opening up that's beautiful 
involvement with the law over here i feel something that was legally meant to be yours somebody tried to take it away because of which you have been facing issues in terms of finances you're going to get that just justice will be done to you is what i get from this card all right affairs with your family so you got a family card over here i feel that this abundance coming to you you're going to help your family as well all right and you're going to help your family grow i feel that your family has disappointed you in the past all right and they're going to soon realize that that's not the way they should have behaved they should have been kind of grateful for all the help that you did for them all right now let's see the rune that you got you got the rune oh wow look at this can you see this rune this is kenas okay this is about finding way okay it's like a torch so this card is uh, telling you or right, this rune is telling you i hope you can see it yeah this rune is telling you that there is going to be this awakening growth opening okay you're going to have this vision this growth and that's what your cards are telling you so this is like a torch all right so right now i think before now you were into darkness lost wondering what is happening where am i going and this right now you are in the process of finding this path that's going to be of awakening of growth of abundance of love all right and you're also go going to help your family benefit out of it all right now let's see what blessing deck is going to tell us in case you want to know what decks i'm using uh, the you can just check the time stamp below the blessing from goddess durga you got two cards okay you got a blessing on a friendship and a blessing on a new venture and let me show you over here this card also spoke about new opportunities possibilities all right so i feel that you have you were praying you were like god please give me this breakthrough like there there was a time before now wherein you uh, you were praying 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 and your prayers were just not getting answered so all that energy that you had created with your prayers and rituals it's going to be like a dam opening and soon you'll be like showered with a lot of abundance and things and you'll be like oh my god what's happening you know i was stuck and now everything is just flowing for me so there's going to be a blessing on a friendship which is you know i feel that maybe a new venture coming via a friend or a new opportunity coming via a friend this is so beautiful group 3 i really hope you enjoyed this reading oh i did not keep your so sorry i didn't keep a number over here okay now let's see by when all these prayers are going to get answered okay goddess durga please let us know by when you will be blessing group 3 with all the blessings that you showed in this reading you got 4 so 4 represents minimum 4 hours 4 weeks 4 days 4 months or 4 years so whatever you are asking for or whatever the blessings are over here it will happen in a minimum time frame of 4 hours to a maximum time frame of 4 years all right now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 3 and let me spin the wheel for you you have got better so whatever you asked for the answer is better than your expectations all right group 3 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did now if you have my book prayer magic and miracles and you want to make most of this chaitra navratri and connect with goddess durga so um uh, let me just yeah So there is this prayer to nine form of Goddess Durga on page forty-seven. You can read this prayer. In case you want to purchase my book, it is available on Amazon and on Kindle as well. I kept the price very low so that maximum people can take benefit out of this book. So both the links are in the pin comment. You can have a look at it. And also, I am. Uh, 
the I am Miracle workshop link is below if you want to have a look at it you can and if you want to be a part of my whatsapp broadcast channel or my instagram broadcast channel the links are given below as well on our whatsapp broadcast channel we share a lot of rituals on insta as well we share rituals like today like yesterday we had shared uh, the um, the goodie part of our ritual before that we had shared Chaitra Navratri ritual so that you can take benefit out, out of it. So we share a lot of rituals, all right? So you can have a look at that as well by getting added to our WhatsApp broadcast channel, our Instagram. Today we have shared a very powerful Durga coverage that you can listen to on our WhatsApp broadcast or our Instagram broadcast. You can also be a part of our Telegram channel and go through all what we had shared in the past as well. All right. All the links are in the pinned comment. Take care of yourself. Lots of love to you. And happy Gudi Parva. Happy Nav Chaitra Navratri. And uh, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. So these are the decks that I have used for this reading. Blessed be Whisper of Lord Ganesha. Then I have used this deck as well. Uh, Energy Oracle decks, Tea Leaf Fortune cards, Shiva Oracle card, Quantum Oracle card, Kali Oracle card. All right. And the Power of Surrender uh, cards and the Quantum Oracle card as well. You can just have a look at all of these decks. Okay. So these are the decks that I have used. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. The tarot decks I've already shown in each pile. You can check even the selection of the pile to know more. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.